Hiya, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video I've got another lockdown nail art challenge for you. So get involved if you've not done it before and you're not sure about what to do and where to send your entries to. All the info is in the description box below so have a look and have fun. So the inspo pick for this week's nail art challenge is from Instagram as always and it is from an account called CTQ Studio and they've got like loads of different wacky prints of fabric and stuff and it's really good. I love it. So I have got my Almond Fit Tip and I've already painted that with two coats of I-156 and I've got my silicone pad here, let me move that and put that. I've got a little bit of black no wipe um, gel paint and then I'm going to put some colours on it as well. So I've got I-192 which is sleet, I love this grey, Whoa, it's probably taken over as my favourite grey now I reckon. I love it. I think I'm going to do a little bit of 84 which is quite a bright blue. Just a bit. As ever when I do these um, nail art challenges I'm winging it. I've not planned it so we'll see what happens. <laughs> and a bit of I-102 just because I like it. <laughs> I really like this colour. It doesn't necessarily have to be like exactly the colours that's in the picture. You don't have to do, you know, like exactly the same pattern or anything like that. Just have fun with it and do whatever you want, basically. A bit of I-189. These nail art challenges, although you can win yourself a, a little, a little tiny something from us if you if you picked as the winner for the week. It's just like to have a bit of fun. I won one now. Um, yeah, it's just to have a little bit of fun, just get you doing something, you know, while we can't have clients in, just playing around with your products and your colours. and So yeah, don't stress about it too much. And I'm gonna use I-65, I think. I'll put these colours out and then just see where we go, what we reckon. So I'm going to just shift that out of the way slightly. Right, I'm going to use my vice versa brush first. I really love this brush. It's so handy to use like for big, for like bigger blocks of stuff. Um, do I want to do the whole nail or do I want to do part of the nail? Oh. Oh, it's a tough one, and I'm not really sure is the answer to that. I think I might do part of the nail. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to put in a bit of grey first. And like I say, I love this grey. Probably my favourite grey now. So I've just wiggled that on basically <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason I'm wiggling it on and now I think I'm gonna go this way might put a little bit more up at the top here we've got a little bit more nail to work with so I think I might go with a bit more grey up here I'm a sucker for the grey it's gotta be said I'm going to add a tiny bit more down here, a really tiny bit and then I'm just going to stick that in for a few seconds to flash cure she says, it went a bit patchy. Right now I'm going to stick it into flash cure. So with this picture there's really quite a lot going on so you've got a lot to work with. Um, some people really like that, some people struggle with it, but I try to kind of mix it up, you know, like I so say, some weeks there's a lot going on in the picture, some weeks there's not a lot, just to do something for everybody really, I hope. But yeah, this week there's definitely quite a lot, I would say. So I've just put a bit more colour on and I'm going to... Just wipe my brush with a bit of couch roll in between. 
And I'm going to add these colours while it's still wet just so I can kind of smudge it in to the colour next to it. I'm not worrying too much about, you know, bleed if it's bleeding together, blobbing, whatever. That's the good thing about these kind of like abstracty designs. You can do whatever you want, which I like. <laughs> it makes it easy. So I'm going to add a bit more of that yellow up here and I'm kind of smudging it into that orange, orange colour a little bit as well so it does bleed in a bit. And then I'm going to add a bit of the darker colour. It does kind of have like these channels of white running through the design as well. That's kind of, it gives it, I think, like a an animal print type of vibe. Maybe that's why I like it so much. <laughs> Gotta love an animal print. So I'm kind of doing it in quarters. Yeah. I had to think then. I'm, right, I'm going to whack that in, I reckon, just to flash cure for a few seconds. So I've also just got out a bit of I4. I'll show you this one. So it's a bit pinker, so I've got a bit of got a bit of pink going on as well. I feel like we needed a little bit of pink. So I'm going to add that now, actually. And then I think I'm going to a little line through this gap. I still want to end up with some of the white though here in between. Hmm. What else? Maybe. What do we reckon? I am going to get a little bit of blue in there at some point but not yet I don't think. I might go for this lighter orange colour, get a bit of that in. Yeah, it needed that I think. I'm going to add a bit more orange here as well, I like the orange. And orange, the orange with the grey, I do like it, I've got to say. And then, I'm nearly done with this first bit, I'm going to put here Hmm, pink I think, just on this corner bit here. Fab. Right, I'm going to pop that into cure and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. So I've got a bit of white, no white gel paint as well. And I'm going to use my artiste brush with this because I want to go on to a bit of a thinner brush now. Because I'm going to add in some little details. So I'm just... I'll show you. Move that and I'll put this in. So I'm just getting my brush and just rolling it through the paint. So I always kind of drag drag the paint and roll the brush at the same time. So I get quite an even coat. Hopefully an even coat of paint on my brush. So I'm going to come onto this sort of bigger bit of grey and put some little... It's just some rough little circles like I can see on the inspo picture. They're not like dead even circles, thank God. Because when it's this small, it's not easy. And also I'm trying to not put my head in front of the camera. And when I paint stuff like this, I like to be really close. Oh, I've lost the circle on that one, but I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered. Okay, and then on the other grey, bigger grey bit, I'm going to do some sort of wavy line. And I'm just filling this grey bit in with these wavy lines. I'm not like dead bothered about it being dead neat. And I love these gel paints because they just stay where you put them. Even on sort of small details, they just stay in place. So now I've done those bits, I'm just going to flash cure it for a few seconds because I might put my finger in it, I'm not going to lie. And now we can add in the black details. 
So I think this is where it'll really sort of finish this design off. So I'm just having a little little gander at the picture to see what it looks like. And these black bits like on the picture, they're not all neat either. They're not like all perfectly fine and you know, all sort of going in the same direction. There's some thinner bits, there's some thicker bits. So I'm going to try and bring that through as well, even though I think automatically with stuff like this, you want to try and be neat, but it's not always, it's not always the best. And it's hard for me because I'm quite the, uh, Quite the neat freak when it comes to nail art. So I'm always saying that, have fun, be free. And I think quite often it's because I'm trying to convince myself to do that as well. My favourite nail art is... I mean, I don't get me wrong, I like abstract stuff just because it's so easy. Like, I don't know, and people might hate me for this, but I don't really see it as... Obviously, it is nail art, but I don't know. I don't really see it as that, in a way. Just because it's... Yeah, I don't know. It's just so easy, and so... You just ch chuck it on in the old way, you know? My favourite stuff is to do, like, line stuff. Um and like painting an actual thing, if you know what I mean. I'm probably making absolutely no blooming sense whatsoever. <laughs> so when I paint my black on, I'm pushing my brush down for some bits that I want thicker and then lifting it up when I want thinner bits um, and just wiggling it as I paint. And it just makes it like hard then. So that was really like, sort of finished that bit off and just added that extra stuff that it needed. So I'm going to just do the same in this top quarter. So I'm just kind of picking bits out. I'm not like going around everything with the black. I'm just sort of, yeah, doing like random bits. I like it. Very different. Right, I'm going to whack that in to cure and I'm going to cure it for 120 seconds just because I've used the no white top, um, sorry, no white gel paint so it needs a good cure and I don't want it to smudge with my top coat so I'm going to whack it in for 120. So now that it's cured I'm going to give it a coat of rock light. I've got a blooming fluff in it. Oh my god. Get off. I had a blooming black fluff on the white bit then. Don't know where they come from. Right, I'm going to whack that in for 60 seconds. And now that's cured, I'm going to give it a coat of velvet matte. I mean, we know that I love a matte nail, we can't deny it, but I feel like this design, yeah, needs it. I feel like it would just lend itself really well to being matte. Got too much there. Then just stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that is it, done. I really like that as well, actually. And it was easy. So that is my little uh, design for you. So that is this week's Lockdown Nail Art Challenge. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. All the info, like I said before, is in the description box below. So that tells you all about the challenge, how to enter and where to send your pictures to. So make sure you have a look. Um, and I can't wait to see what you do with this one. I feel like there's going to be quite a lot of entries for this one, I reckon, because it's a really good picture to work from, I think. You can do loads with it. So go crazy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!